After three years of prototype machining, I was battling for a raise, and my boss at the time just kept moving the goalpost. Every time we'd have the conversation, it would end with him telling me, work on this and you'll get a raise. Or if you reach these metrics, you can have a raise. I would accomplish the challenges he put in front of me, and he would come up with something else. Now this went on for a couple months, and then he was fired, and the lead of the mold making department was put in charge of the entire shop that consisted of prototyping, mold making, Swiss lathe production, and injection molding. He knew about my ongoing raise negotiations and he pulled me into his office and he said, hey, you know, we're looking for someone young to start learning how to be a mold maker. Everyone in that department is over 50 and we're having a hard time finding someone that wants to do it. If you make the move over to that department, it'll come with that raise you want. This was one of the most important moments of my career and by the end of this video, I'll tell you why if I would have made a different choice, it could have impacted me in a big way. I started my machining career by paying my dues in a shop helper kind of role. But every time I was asked if I wanted to try something new, the answer was yes, absolutely. It did not matter what the task was or if it was glamorous or fun or any of that. What I found is if I continue doing that, I'll be able to take something from every process I learn and apply it to something else in the future. Not only that, I'll eventually impact every area of the shop I work in and that'll be incredibly valuable someday. We talk a lot about the importance of continuing to learn every day, but diversifying our skill set is also important. It helps when you're negotiating pay to have a combination of skills that is incredibly difficult to find. The only way to do that is to do things that others are unwilling to do. You have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone because letting yourself get comfortable is the fastest way to halt your growth. I've seen so many guys throughout my career that are offered opportunities to try new things and they turn them down because they don't like the thought of stepping away from the machine that they've been running their entire career. It makes them uneasy and it feels risky to them. But what they don't realize is risk is the down payment for growth. The story of how Tyson became lead lathe programmer comes to mind. Tyson was a setup guy at the time and the lead programmer quit and left a bunch of complex jobs that needed to be programmed and machined and the due date was right around the corner. He had never programmed a lathe before and was thrown into programming these crazy rocket parts and he had no time to waste yet he learned quickly and got the job done. I'm guessing that made him a little uncomfortable but now he teaches the world how to program and run a 9 axis mill turn. If that's not growth, I don't know what is. The point is, we have to take chances to see where things go. If you're a setup guy and you never take a chance on programming, you're limiting yourself in a big way. If your first experience is on a lathe and you stay there, you'll never know how good of a mill guy you could have been, or how much you would have enjoyed the wire EDM. When I was offered a chance to move into the mold making department, I have to admit I really liked prototype machining, so I was hesitant to accept the offer, but I did. And the result of that was I got to learn wire EDM, sinker EDM, hard milling, heat treating, surface grinding, making and designing electrodes, polishing, and more. We were responsible for the entire build, so you have to have a diverse set of skills to make it happen. I remember one day I was at the sinker EDM, and I looked out across the shop and I realized I can program and run all the machines in the prototype department, but now I can also program and run all the machines in the mold department. It didn't matter who was out sick, I'd be able to step in and make a difference. That's true valuable to any company. Now there's also something to be said about picking one discipline and becoming the best in the world at it. I've seen a lot of guys that are very successful by doing that. At the end of the day it's all about having skills and experience that are very hard to find and being able to make a difference in every aspect of the shop. If you're feeling pretty comfortable with what you're currently doing, that could be a clue that it's time to pick up a new skill or take things to the next level. Learning wire EDM and sinker EDM gave me massive opportunities that I would not have gotten otherwise. Don't be afraid to get involved in other areas of the shop. You'll become a better machinist and have more opportunities and make more money because of it. Thanks for watching. Check out our playlist tab at the top of our YouTube page for more content. Please like and subscribe before you go. It really helps us out and we'll catch you guys next time.